Hi, this is Dr. Sesh. Today we're going to be talking about chin and upper neck contouring. This is a popular topic and a lot of times people come in requesting a more chiseled and contoured appearance either to their jawline in the anterior part or front part of the jawline or sometimes come in for a more a lighter or more elegant appearance uh, to the neck. Chin and upper neck play a very close relationship aesthetically with each other because they're two adjacent or neighboring anatomic parts of our face and neck area. And altering the one can affect, can have a positive or negative effect on the other one. And that's very important in the assessment and decision making. So when it comes to the chin, particularly the front part of the chin, options for improvement or augmentation can be surgical or non-surgical. As far as non-surgical options, if people are looking for a modest improvement or they're not sure whether they want to go all the way for a surgical treatment and it's their first time, we can offer a non-surgical treatment with fillers. The filler treatment, it's done, it's kind of like a lunchtime treat treatment. It's done within 10 to 20 minutes with minimal uh, anesthesia required. It's fairly light, uh, it's a fairly light treatment, easily tolerated, and the filler gets applied to the front part of the chin. There is a little bit of difference as far as how we inject male versus female chins because we want to have different contours desired for each gender. Um, and that's often, it's more of a modest improvement, and it's more of a short-term improvement. It usually lasts between one to one and a half years, but it's quick and easy versus the implant, which is a surgical treatment. Traditionally, it can be done through an, inject, an incision line inside the gum line or through an incision line right under the crease in the chin. The incision under the crease of the chin is more popular because it does not affect the gum line. It's minimal risk as far as infection or exposure to the saliva of the mouth. And since this scar heals so well, usually even within a matter of weeks, uh, it's become the more popular uh, type of treatment surgically. That's more suitable for people who are sure they want to go for a permanent treatment in that area, or people who are, have a really weak and small chin and they want to go for a major uh, size change in that area. Okay, so this is a nice simulation of the topic we were just talking about, to see how altering the position and size of the chin can alter the aesthetics of this whole area of the chin and upper neck. So in this patient who has a fairly receded or weak chin, as you see by augmenting the chin in the forward direction, you get a significant improvement in the contour of the jawline and at the same time it does make a significant difference in the aesthetics of the neck. It's a more elegant neck, it's a less crowded or less puffy upper part of the neck as you augment the chin by moving the soft tissue forward in this direction there is more of a tenting or stretch effect on the skin and soft tissue of the neck and it creates a more elegant contour in this area